Hi neighbors. I hope you had a wonderful weekend. Why did it get cold? And why did it rain all day today? It's going to rain a lot tomorrow, I think. I don't know. It's got me down in the dumps. Um, I'm going to try to get through this recording. Um, I was at Taekwondo last week with my daughter and a lady. Uh, we're slowly becoming friends. Uh, we challenged each other to try to drink a gallon of water a day. And I have done that. I also go to the bathroom about a thousand times. So I also did not say that I wouldn't drink wine because I have to have something to wash all that water down with. Um, but tonight I am drinking Snoop Dogg's Cali Red. I don't know if you can see this. Let's see if I can get it's the 19 crimes. Anyway, anything with Snoop on it's great with me. Um, but this Cali Red, it's not super robust. It's kind of like a Pinot Noir. Um, anyway, cheers to Sunday. Um, mm. let me also tell you, guess what I made to my office? Yay! I made the calendar, made it to my office and I'm going to show you how I filled it in. So if you don't have yours yet, we're going to talk about it because we're going to talk about the newsletter here in a minute. These are $5 at the office. Come on y'all. You can't even buy anything for $5 these days. Um, but look, that was January's photo. There's a glare. Sorry. That was January. Um, we have February. Look at that beautiful house. Alan Fairbanks. He always does such a great job. Um, we got Cindy Pellegrini. That was the um, tracks on the golf course. Look at this. Uh, oh, let me tell you who made January. Jack John Jackson had January's photo of those wheat. They look like ducks or geese, maybe swans. Who knows? I'm not really up on my birds um, unless it's a blue hair and I can spot those a mile away. Look at this April photo from Bob Dumont. April's great. Look, we got May. May was Kathy King, her beautiful photo. I swear it's, it's mirrored for me. <laughs> That's why I have no idea where I'm going. Apologies. The sailboats, John Jackson again. We've got Ralph Tredico. Always apologies if I mispronounce your name. Look at this. August was Werner Wildenberg. Every time I think of the name Werner, I think of um, Legally Blonde. Wasn't that her boyfriend's name? Uh, that ended up being a deadbeat. Anyway, we got Kathy Bartles did September's photo. I just love our sunsets here. I go out to the dock for sunrise and sunsets almost every day. They're breathtaking. They're so beautiful. We got Mary Swan with October, her dock and boat. I, I'm going to, that's an assumption that it's her dock and boat. Beautiful nonetheless. Then we've got John Jackson again, closing out November. And look at this. December. We love the flotilla. It is such a delight. Bob Dumont again with December's. So if you have not picked up your Harbor, Fairfield Harbor POA calendar, please, it's their $5. They're on sale. Um, let's talk about what's on my calendar for the month of March. Let's see. Oh, look, here we go. Um, always the fishing club meets on the first Wednesday of the month. And let me tell you guys, I quit doing the beginning of the week. Like here's what's coming for you to do this week because we have the Fairfield Harbor beacon calendar. We have the POA, like the calendar that gets put in the newsletter. Then there's a ton of stuff that gets put out on the socials about things coming up that aren't on either it is just a lot. So I, I have been DM'd or direct messaged for those that are not on the Facebooks and the Instagrams. You forgot my event. Please, no, it was not intentional. I just doing what I can do to get the calendar out there. And so I just gave up because it's too much for there to be multiple different calendars and multiple places for you to get your 
uh, news and information about upcoming events that's not all synced together. We're one community. And I think that's the theme that I'm seeing on the socials as we get ready for those three open board positions is we got to get in sync, y'all. We got to get in sync. So anywho, this is my calendar for the month of March. Uh, please forgive the chicken scratch. But the fishing club always meets on the first Wednesday of every month. Uh, then we had our neighborhood watch meeting was at 4.30 p.m. on Tuesday the 7th. Also, always uh, American Sign Language. They have finger spelling is also was on the 7th. And then the American Sign Language vocabulary class you can see um, on the 16th. Facts Committee met on the 9th. The 20th Precinct Democratic Biennial Organization meeting was at 9.30 on this past Saturday the 11th. So in the beacon on the calendar, it said Sunday the 8th. And I had to look at it like 11 times to figure out that Sunday was, or the 8th was a Wednesday and the Sunday was the 12th. There's also open music jam on the Sunday. So if we missed it on the 8th, apologies. Um, the 8th was not a Sunday. So anyway, I, I don't know where the open music jam goes, but there is one specifically was today. Um, Garden Club meets tomorrow morning at 9.30 a.m. Gun Club meets on the 15th at 7 p.m. There is a Christian women's chat at noon on the 16th, along with the American Sign Language vocabulary classes. And you can get all of the locations. Most of these are in the activity center or the community center. Um, the women's Christian chat at noon will be bring your own lunch and chat with these women. And it should be a really interesting chat because it's International Women's Month. What better time to get together and chat? Um, then we have our first, I think it's the first, um, Harbor Lights players are doing wisecrackers starting this weekend. And I think I saw, there. we're gonna go over it in the newsletter. So I'm not even gonna try to go out on a limb here, but there's lots happening on the 17th because it's St. Patrick's Day. Lots to be excited about. It's a great time for people to celebrate, drink some green beer, eat some food. Um, mm. And this Friday, you can play some couples golf and then go to the point, make a reservation and eat some food and drink some beer um, and watch the Harbor Lights players on Wisecrackers, if you bought tickets, tickets were sold through the 10th last Friday. I'm not sure if there's the option to buy tickets past the 10th, but I'm sure if you ask, somebody will be able to answer that for you. Maybe call the office. You can always do that at 252-633-5500. Um, but lots happening on Friday because it's St. Patrick's Day. Then we have on Saturday, the Republican 20th precinct meeting is going to happen at 9 a.m., Solo Flight is going to do a matinee on Sunday for the Wisecrackers play, and then they're going to go eat dinner after. That sounds like a lot of fun. The Fairfield Hospital Auxiliary, Fairfield Harbor Hospital Auxiliary is going to meet at 930 on Monday the 20th. We've got a quilting group that meets on the 21st. Chat with Chip Hughes. He's our favorite sheriff uh, from 3 to 5 at the Community Center on Wednesday the 22nd. Then we have the RCS clothing drive. So if you have clothes, we're coming out of winter. Maybe you know next winter you're not going to like the sweater or you didn't wear it this past winter at all. Or maybe it's too small. Maybe it's going to be too big because you have some big goals for this year. If you got clothes or any other belongings that you do not want, Sands Bags, ladies, we'll talk about that. Uh, the RCS Clothing Drive is coming the 24th and 25th. I wrote it on two different days, but on the 25th, we have our 18-hole dice game at 9 a.m. And then Recycling Day is on the 28th. So that's my calendar for the month of March. Um, let's not forget, let me just go ahead and tell you some more important dates. So we've got March in our calendar. That's what you see here. Let's just read some important dates for April. The parking lot sale is going to happen on April the 1st. So if you've got a calendar out, go ahead and mark it. April the 1st, we've got the parking lot sale. On April the 8th, we've got the Easter egg hunt at 2 p.m. And on April the 15th, we have Alex Williams at 6 p.m. at Pelican Park. That is also tax day. So can we just get 
just get your taxes done, get them out of the way so we can just chill with Alex and not even think about taxes. Taxes on top of dues, on top of, on top of property tax revaluation, on top of them giving an award to a biological male for international women. It's a lot going on. Okay, so just get your taxes done, get that off your plate. And if you're planning to run for the board, that's one more thing. So I'm going to talk about that because then we get into May, right? So we had March, April's got a few quick hits, parking lot sale, Alex Williams on the 15th, Easter egg hunt on the 8th. Then in May, if you're planning to run for the board, get your calendar together, okay? Mine is together, although I'm not committed to running yet, okay? So for those that also message me about that, I have not made up my mind. I will be at the meeting. Oh, I didn't put that on this calendar. So the third Tuesday of every month, the board of directors for our POA meet. Um, so that this month is the 21st at 9 a.m. As I mentioned on one of the socials, I think it was Facebook. My understanding from talking with a few people is that those meetings can run four plus hours which is really hard if you want to run for the board and you work a full-time job, have kids, you got to get to and from school, you know, a life. So it's a lot. It's a big commitment. But if you're planning to run for the board of directors and you don't regularly attend those meetings, because I will tell you, I had a whole conversation with Jennifer last week because the last meeting I tried to attend, I was told I couldn't attend because I wasn't on the agenda. She was like, no, they're open meetings. And so I was like, Okay, please add me to the list. I'm just going to sit in and watch. I feel like that's valuable information to have if you're wanting to consider running for the board. But anyway, here nor there. If you can go, go. If not, I will do like a debrief in a recording. Um, but May is a big month if we are going to run for any one of those three open board positions. So May the 1st, right? May the 1st is your your notice of candidacy is due no later than May the 1st. That's also the day your dues are due. So if you're planning to run for the board, please make sure your dues are paid. Okay. Um, the uh, the fourth is the deadline to withdraw your candidacy. So if you put your name in the hat, then you're like, you know what? On second thought, this isn't going to work out for me. You have until the fourth because that's when they start to print things for people to review. Okay. So given that you have not withdrawn your candidacy, and I am so looking forward to seeing all the candidates out there. I've heard that there are several thinking about running. Um, the 10th, May the 10th at 6 p.m. will be meet the candidates. So that will be kind of an open forum for people to come, meet everybody that's going to run for one of those open board positions, answer questions, give everyone a little bit more information about yourself. I hope to see you there. The 12th, that's a Friday, May the 12th will be your deadline to submit a photo and any other required information if you want to have a write-up done in the beacon that month for your candidacy, okay? Then on the 15th, the Fairfield Harbor Property Owners Association is going to start sending out all of the mailings with the ballots, the absentee ballots, the instructions for how to vote, all that good stuff with all of the candidate packs so people can read about you in the information that you submitted by the May 1st deadline. And then let's just stick a pin in the board of directors for a second because we don't really have another May deadline for the board of directors, but on the 22nd, that's your deadline if you want to appeal your property tax revaluation, okay? So if that's something that's important to you, go ahead and put it on the calendar. So we're backing into that date, okay? Um, going back to the board of directors, the next deadline is in June. June the 15th is the deadline for everyone, every voting member of the, if you pay dues, you should be voting for our board of directors and your vote will be due by June the 15th. And then the 16th through the 27th, I don't know why it takes so long. They can count an entire country's ballots in a single hour uh, for some countries. In some countries, it takes minimum eight hours. So um, anywho, if Arizona can count their ballots in 24, 48 hours, we can count those ballots for this community in less time than a week and a half. Okay. Um, but then the 28th is when they're going to announce 
three new Fairfield Harbor Board of Director positions, and that will be our annual meeting. Okay, so those things will happen in tandem. All right, so those are your calendar updates through June. Thank you for letting me have my little spiel about the voting. Let's get to the newsletter, all right? <laughs> all right, so the beacon. I swear I'm going to do a, a recording about that if I can stop peeing long enough to get through any recording that I'm doing here in the next couple of days. As always, if you need our office, you can call them at 252-633-5500 and call in your, your guests through the gate. Don't make people sit there and wait and wonder who's supposed to be here. Um, 252-636-5566 is how you get to the gate. Um, and I just want to put a, a pin in this real fast because over the weekend, this weekend, there was a house fire at Salt K and Gondolier. Lots of emergency first responders showed up. I drove by the house this morning and I, it just took my breath away. Um, I'm so glad. It sounds like everyone made it out of their house safe. It sounds like it did not spread to other adjacent homes, which I am so thankful for. And I don't know the family that lived in that home. I am following closely all of the Facebook posts. I know that there are some that are putting together gift cards and things that that family will need while they try to put their life back together. But I want you to know, if that is your home, that we are here for you. We are here to support you however you need. Will you please just ask? And if you don't want to do that kind of open, if you will reach out to one of your neighbors, if you will call me directly, I think my phone number is everywhere at this point. Um, but we care about you so much and we want you to know that we are behind you and want, and I can't speak for everybody, of course, but we here at this house are behind you. And if there's anything that you need, please let us know. Um, know that we are praying for you. I literally shouted your name at church this morning, even though I don't know it. it. You are just that family in the house fire. I am praying for miracles upon miracles for you. And um, yeah, I just, um, I can't even imagine uh but we are here and I hope that you feel the support of this community behind you. Okay. All right. So having said that, I'll get to the beacon. Okay. Um, important dates. Property control committee is going to meet on the 23rd. I should have added that to my calendar. I will. Um, March the 23rd. That is not this week, but that is next week. So if you have materials that you want to get to the property control committee for their agenda on the 23rd, your stuff needs to be in by noon on the 21st. OK, that's Tuesday, the 21st. We have our next regular board meeting, 9 a.m. on March 21st. Feel free to call the office. My understanding is that they meet in kind of like a boardroom. So I think the issue with a bunch of people showing up is just a place for everyone to sit. Um, but if you are planning to run for the board of directors, I, I would think that if you have not ever attended a board meeting or have not attended one under the current regime of POA board members, I would go and do that to help build my case for my platform and what I would like to see change. Those are questions that are asked in the uh, candidate packet that we will fill out. And if you have not yet looked at the packet or pulled it up, I do a whole nother podcast. I recorded that and published it last week about how to get to the form on front steps, how to download it, questions to ask, things like that. So feel free to go and pull that recording down. Spring cleanup is happening now. I think we're going into week three and we'll talk about that. I'll pull up the calendar here at the end. Our parking lot sale is April the 1st. Uh, we put that on our calendar just a couple minutes ago. And again, if you don't have a calendar, five bucks, POA office. And then the recycling date is March 28th. And let, we cannot forget St. Patrick's Day. There's so much happening in this community on St. Patrick's Day. And I can't even imagine that there's a ton of stuff happening around New Bern. 
And then Cindy's quote, I just went to a seminar with Tony Robbins, what, two months ago? The only impossible journey is the one you never begin. And can we get a hallelujah? I mean, they say that cemeteries are the pieces of land in our country that are the most expensive per foot because of all of the dreams and the things that people had potential to create and do and be died with them. Um, and I, I think that is just so mind boggling to think about, but I love Tony Robbins. All right. Dues still didn't feel that way. Uh, but they are $1,173 for the year. Uh, March 1st is when they came out. And even though I, did, I have one here, even though the um, deadline is not on the actual dues form itself, maybe that's something that we can consider adding. The deadline is May 1st. So if you are within the sound of my voice, May 1st is your deadline. We also just added it to our calendar. Okay. So don't miss that date, especially if you're running for the board. That will take you through February 29th of 2024. And then as always, you can log in on Front Steps and set up monthly installments to pay next year's dues and have those just come out a little bit every month. And then you'll be done by the time dues come out next year. There is a contingency amount uh, that's billed but not collected. But if we have an emergency in this upcoming year, those $200 will be collected from bill paying owners in our community and those funds will be put to good use. Thank you so much to everybody that's already paid your dues. All right, save the date. Still so excited. So the third Wednesday of each month, add that to your calendar. The Craven Pamlico Libraries on the move. This is a book and tech mobile that comes to our community. It'll be on Coral Reef Drive, which is right by the office. You can check out books. You can get a library card. You can check out hotspots, peripherals if you need to check out a laptop for anything. Free food while supplies last. Learn how to access more than 600 free educational classes. So again, we've talked about this on plenty of previous podcasts. There's so much free education out on the internet. I learned how to knit from YouTube, okay? But they, the Craven County offers free education classes. And if you are looking to learn something new, you want to learn how to become a CPA, you want to learn how to do your taxes. These are all things fresh on my mind. You want to do, learn how to be a better public speaker. All of these things are classes that you can go online and take through the Craven Pamlico County libraries. So feel free to do that. And then as always on Hoopla, even if you don't check anything else out. Hoopla is a free app that you can get on your smartphones or your laptops. You can go to hoopla.com. All you need is a library card number. It'll ask you for your PIN number, your library card number, your name, and you can watch any available digital movie on Hoopla. Check out audiobooks if you don't have Audible or, or anything like Kindle, things like that. Lots of good information and good access for our community there. I'm not going to belabor this point, but we have our upcoming Fairfield Harbor POA Board of Directors election. We just went through the deadlines again. Again, I did a whole separate video navigating the website for how to get there. I think our next big thing is if it would be valuable to you and you want to run would be to attend, if you can, the next board meeting, which is March, what I say, the 21st? Yes, the third Tuesday of every month. Okay. Property Control Committee update. Many residents have been commenting on the amount of building that's happening in our community. The Property Control Committee approved six more new homes this week, bringing the total homes being built to currently more than 60. That's a lot. There is a mix of custom homes, spec homes, and pre-purchased homes. Exciting time for positive growth in our community. Agreed. I'm very excited about all that. Spring cleanup. The time is here to have all of your vegetative debris picked up by our community maintenance crew. We do get a lot of questions about the pickup, so the schedule is at the end. We will go through that. Uh, and as always, you can print just the page of the newsletter or there is an attachment in the newsletter that was sent to your email address that you can print. 
the household hazardous waste recycling event is happening on March the 25th from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. at Craven Community College. So the Coastal Environmental Partnership, also known as the CEP, is a public solid waste management authority that serves Carteret, Craven, and Pamlico counties. The CEP provides residents with an environmentally sound and cost-effective system of solid waste disposal and sponsors a series of household hazardous waste collection days in each of the three counties. So these are things that they accept cooking oils, drain openers, batteries, latex and oil-based paints, maximum of 10 gallons, automotive fluids like gasoline, used motor oil, antifreeze, and pesticides, lawn garden, farm pesticides, and fertilizers. They do not accept gas cylinders, commercial waste, infectious or biological radioactive wastes, explosives, or ammunition. And don't take a mystery box. Okay, we need to know what's in there for the safety and well-being of everyone that is participating. Do not ruin this for everyone. Uh, be smart, okay? Label everything and know what you're taking. And please don't take any of the non-accepted materials. If you have questions about what is or is not accepted, how to bring the stuff so that it is safe for everyone to handle, please give them a call at 252-633-1564. They will be more than happy to answer any and all of your questions. All right, go get that calendar. I've already said it once. I finally brought it. Oh my gosh. I just miss this. Wayne and Michelle Swartz actually did the front picture. Look, can you just imagine yourself in these two seats right here overlooking the Inner Harbor? Come on. $5. Great gifts. If you've got, if you're a real estate agent and you've got people moving into Fairfield Harbor, when they get you your commission check, this should be something that you use to say thank you. Just throwing that out there. All right, from Jennifer's desk this week, Representative Steve Tyson called to check in and let me know that we will soon see a caution light. That will let travelers know on Highway 55 that a light is coming similar to this one. So it's like the prepare to stop. I have so many thoughts. Do we need that? Commissioner Mark Tom or Tom Mark, he has two first names, I swear. Commissioner Tom Mark also called to encourage residents to follow the directions on the tax assessment to look at the new sales that are affecting new tax values. And should you have any questions or concerns, please call the tax office or file an appeal. Did a whole separate video. Actually, I've done two on the tax process and I have some thoughts on others that I'm going to do because I know I have not rounded out the one that I showed you the Excel file that I'm doing to capture information for our house and the other property that we own in Fairfield Harbor. So more to come on the tax revaluation, re understanding that our time is ticking people. May 22nd is the deadline to file an appeal. Another note, Jennifer tried the mushroom Swiss burger and the eggplant Parmesan specials this week at the point and they were delicious. Go get these specials before they go away. New residents, please don't forget to come to the office. There's a nice welcome packet full of information about living in Fairfield Harbor. There's so much to know, especially if you care about how things are done in our community. And if you don't care, people will make sure that you do care. Okay. Um, but please attend those Friday orientations at 10 a.m. It just makes acclimating to our community so much easier. If you have questions, if you're new to this area and you have questions, and maybe you work on Fridays at 10 a.m., I'm happy to address any questions that I can. Any questions that I can't, I'm happy to go uh, talk to Jennifer or Cindy uh, at the office and get answers back to you. You know what? It may be a good idea to go and record one of those. I'm going to call you Jennifer and we're going to have a conversation. Um, but anyway, it's only about 90 minutes. So if you can take the time, maybe take an early lunch if you do work uh, and go attend that orientation session. It's great. Decal reminders. Don't forget, you have to have a permanent license plate in order to get a decal on your car. That's what opens and closes the gates. In order to get a decal, you just need to go into the front office and give them the year, make, model, color of your vehicle and your license plate number. It needs to be a 
permanent plate, not the dealer tag. Okay. Um, and then if, should you get a new car or, uh, change your license plate for any reason, maybe you get a cool new vanity plate, um, new replacement decals, five bucks. Whenever you go into the office, you just need to have the same information for your new license plate. So they can update that with the vehicles that belong to your address. Okay. Payment portal, as always, you can go online to make your dues payments and uh, for your, you can set up automated payments. I said this earlier, set up automated payments so that every month you're paying a little bit towards your annual dues, given that they don't go up. And um, by next March 1st, they'll be paid. Okay. There's also a drop box at the office. So let's say you don't do online stuff. Take a little check. You can drop it in that drop box. So if you're walking up to the office, it's right on the right before you get to the door. Okay. Again, May 1st is the deadline. And then also, if you need services, it is such a great convenience in our community to have printing, copying, scanning, faxing, and notary services in our office. So if you need something done, typically notary, faxing, scanning, things like that, that we don't do very often, it's kind of out of sight, out of mind. And we're like, whole oh, crap, I need to do this. How do I get it done? It's so nice to have the ability to do that in our office and not have to think about it. Just give them a call and set up an appointment and you can go get all that taken care of. All right. We talked about St. Patrick's Day. So here's the greenest green coming up on the 17th at 530. Irish music, beer specials, and Irish food with music by the Downey Stolsimers is going to be from 5.30 to 8.30 at the Point Restaurant. Given what I know about Thursday nights, you're going to want to call and make a reservation. Okay. All right. From the clubhouse, you can learn to play golf. Okay. OP36 spring golf classes. Signups are underway. You can call the pro shop or email Brian at bjoiner at harborpointgolfclub.com. I like to get the phone number at the same time. The phone number is the same as the restaurant's phone number. 252-638-5338. All right. Sorry for all the scrolling. I just like to do the email and the phone at the same time. Okay. Each class is eight weeks long, starting the week of March 20th. So that's next week. So you still got time to sign up if learning how to play golf is something that's important to you. Those classes, March 20th through May the 8th, also included are four nine-hole tournaments where you'll get to put your skills to the test on the golf course. These will take place every other Friday from five, starting at 5 p.m. on March 31st. Here are the current class times on Mondays. Men meet from three to four, women from 4.15 to 5.15. And then on Wednesdays, it's so nice that they switch. So if you can't do Monday, you can do Wednesday. Women's class on Wednesdays is three to four and men's class is at 4.15 to 5.15. There is a casual nine-hole ladies league. The LGA has recently started a casual nine-hole ladies league that plays on Wednesdays and Friday mornings. So if you're new to the game or coming back after a long layoff, this is a great way to get back into it. Some of our more experienced LGA players mm -hmm. along or play along and are able to answer any questions that you have about etiquette and rules. For more information or to sign up, you can contact Stephanie Eldreth by emailing her at petsinme one at outlook.com. That's P E T S N M E, the number one at outlook.com. The dice game event, March the 25th. That's on our calendars, right? It's an 18 hole dice game tournament. It takes place at 9 a.m. on Saturday, March 25th. This is a four person team event. However, you need to sign up online as a single because teams will be made by the pro shop using an ABCD format. If you've never played a dice game, tournament. It's lots of fun. After all the players tee off on each hole, a die will be rolled. If it lands on one, you'll take player A's drive. Two is player B's drive. Three is player C's drive. Four is the D player's drive. Five is the worst drive. And if you get a six on that dice, you get to take the best drive. From there, the teams will pay us, play a scramble format until the ball is hold. Lunch will be provided for all players afterward, and prizes will be awarded. Mm. The point. 
Let's see what our specials are for this week. As always, breakfast is on Saturdays and Sundays from 7.30 to 10.30. Lunch and dinner, Wednesdays to Sunday, lunch Wednesday to Sunday from 10.30 to 5. Dinner, Wednesday to Saturday, 5 to 9. Live music this week, it's karaoke night. The night before the, I like we take over for St. Patrick's Day, right? So go ahead. Go get some energy out on the 16th and show up in all the green on the 17th. Take take uh, advantage of those beer specials and that Irish food on the 17th. All right. So this week, the specials are the mushroom Swiss burger and the honey mustard salmon. That looks great. So we got the karaoke Thursday we talked about. We've talked about the St. The Patrick's Day dinner on the 17th and Blue Moon Jazz is happening on the 25th. And don't forget, Trivia Night is the first Tuesday of every month. So let's see. Hang on a second. Something else happens. Nope, that's the third Tuesday of every month is the board meeting. Sorry. It's the first Wednesday of every month the fishing club meets. All right, so if you want to call or make reservations or you have questions about the menu or anything about the restaurant, please call 252-638-5338. And when prompted, it's extension 4. Okay? Food trucks coming. When the point is not open for business, we have food trucks that serve as Fairfield Harbor. The current schedule for March is Monday the 20th will be Marikai Mondays. Tanya's Hella Fat Food will be the 13th and the 27th. Frank's will be back on March 21st. And Dee Dee's Char Burger will be here on the 14th and the 28th. We have our spring Easter egg hunt happening on April the 8th at Red Cell Park at 2 p.m. The POA and community sponsored. If you'd like to make candy or monetary donations, they can be dropped off at the POA office or to Morgan Taggart. She lives at 2328 Caracara. There are two different type, two different areas. There will be one for five and under and then one for all other ages. We also need some helpers in the morning to set up and help hide Easter eggs. So if you'd like to help, or if you have any donations that you'd like to make, please feel free to contact Morgan. You can call her at 252-514-8121, or you can always call the office. And if you have any baskets that you'd like to donate, please get those to Morgan. She'd like to make up some for the kids that find golden eggs. And there will also be crafts for the kids and some drinks provided. It's a great time for everyone. You do not want to miss it. Don't you remember Easter egg hunts as a kid? I remember Easter was so different when we were kids because we made the like long trip to Charlotte from Monroe and we got really pretty Easter dresses and we took our favorite baby doll to church and we had these Easter baskets that were beautiful done like this that had cloth. It was just a special time. I love Easter. All right, ladies. So we talked about the RCS community drive that's happening on March 24th and 25th, but don't put your bags in that. Okay. We have the New Bern Women's Club are picking up precious purses. Okay. These purses will be filled with toiletries and other blessings that women that need some assistance right now can need or can have. Um, the bags, of course, the bigger, the better. That's the rule um, that we follow. But Gently used women's purses will go to donate, will be going to local charities supporting women. Also collected personal items such as wallets, key rings, change purses, chapsticks, lipsticks, female products, hand lotions, etc. So if you are traveling any, so we got spring break coming up, feel free to grab any of those hotel goodies um, that they like to give and bring those back with you to donate for here. If you have questions, our Fairfield Harbor Precious Purses team captains are Chris Skrotsky and Joan Campbell. You can contact Chris at 252-571-8385 or you can contact Joan at 252-288-5129. This is the nine whole couples tournament. It's also St. Patrick's Day at 3 p.m. $20 if you're a member couple and $50 if you're just general public couple. There are separate reservations needed for the nine-hole tournament and dinner. So one singular reservation does not commit you to both. But 
please call and sign up for this. This is going to be a lot of fun. And you can do the tournament at 3 p.m. and then stay for dinner at 530 if there are reservations still available then. And just make an afternoon of it to make reservations for either the tournament or the restaurant. Call 252-638-5388 or go to harborpointgolfclub.com. Again, harborpointgolfclub.com will only take reservations for the golf tournament. You need to call the restaurant to make reservations there. It's the same number, extension four. Okay. Here's our spring cleanup calendar. So we've already done Pelican and Shoreline Drive, March 6th through the 10th. The Gondolier Peninsula was done March 13th through the 17th. Oh, maybe are we just now in week two? God, last week was long. All right. So the 13th through the 17th. I feel like, yeah, okay. Maybe we're on week two. I don't know. Yeah, Okay. Gondolier, Gondolier Peninsula is going to be this week. So if you're on any of these um, roads, if you don't know where you are in the community, these just find your street name and that is associated with your general area in Fairfield Harbor. And then these are the dates that we will be going by. So just a couple of notes. You need to have all of your materials ready by 7 a.m. on the first day of your week. So if you're on the Gondolier, Gondolier Peninsula, you will have everything out by 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. Um, Harbor Point, March 20th by 7 a.m. Makes sense? Cara Cara, March 27th by 7 a.m. And Marina Drive and Birdlands, April 3rd by 7 a.m. Okay, anything put out after the week of your scheduled pickup will not be picked up. Plant materials only. Don't put your house trash out for our maintenance crew to pick up. They're bringing a chipper and other things to pick up your lawn debris. They are not bringing trash cans to pick up your household garbage. If it's helpful, put your yard, the vegetative debris from your yard on a tarp, not in bags. Branches and limbs must have a diameter of 10 inches or less. Length's not a problem, um, but it just needs to be able to fit through a, sh a chipper or a shredder. Okay. Cute little rake. And then from the course, March has proven to be unpredictable as always. Mm. This is the part that gets me. As temperatures fluctuate from the 80s to the 30s. Last year, it was March. And we had just had like a run of 70, 75 degree days. And then we were looking at 30s for the weekend. And I told my husband, like, I cannot be cold again. And we literally the next morning hopped a plane to Key West. And we're so fortunate that we were able to do that. And it was exactly what the doctor ordered. We got off the plane coming back and we were back in the seventies again. I did not have to be cold again. I hate the cold. I hate being cold. And all I know we have a lot of Northerners, Connecticut, Rhode Island, Maine that move here. And that is wonderful. We are so lucky to have you in our community. I don't know how you live there. I just, I don't, I literally wear flip-flops or in barefoot a hundred percent of the time. And I hate, I hate this back and forth business and people get sick. Our kids are coming home from school. So sick. But anyway, all the plants are confused on the green way as aren't we all. We're very pleased with the progress on the greens, so though. They've been working on these for weeks at this point to get us ready for summer golf. We will continue to cur curatively. Is that creatively? I've never heard curate, curate and curatively <laughs> used. Okay, we will continue to treat for moss and preventatively treat for disease once temperatures stabilize again. We'll be fertilizing fairways, collars, and tees later this month with an organic fertilizer to give the plants a little nutrition coming out of their dormancy and to help amend the soil conditions. Low voltage lightning has been low voltage lighting has been completed in the landscape beds around the clubhouse and the point restaurant. It looks good. We'll be working on adding more lighting to the stairs and the ramp next week. New mulch will be placed in all of our landscaped beds around the clubhouse and the point as soon as it's delivered. If you have not had a chance to check out the lighting yet, stop by the point one evening this weekend and enjoy a beverage and some great food. 
As a reminder for all of our residents and guests, the golf course should not be used for recreational activities such as fishing, playing in the sand traps, or walking during hours of operation. We want all of our neighbors and guests to be safe on the course and have an enjoyable time, but please avoid using the golf course. Why do we have to say this? We are not seven years old. If you're listening to this, you could read the newsletter. Do you? Mm, probably not. Don't be on the golf course doing non-golf activities. Come on. I digress during business hours. I would like to thank everyone for their diligence on filling divots and repairing ball marks throughout the course. It truly does make a difference. As always, we hope to see you on the course. So this is where you go and you go up these stairs. There is also a ramp. I'm pretty sure that this ramp wraps around and gets you in for those that need wheelchair access. Um, but this is this is the ramp that you go up to to get to the restaurant. Oh, look, I'm not my mouse isn't even. This is the ramp you go up to get to the restaurant. And this is the ramp you go up to get to the golf club. And then this or I'm sorry, the stairs, stairs, golf club, restaurant ramp that gets you to either. There is also back here, these are all the golf carts. And then way back here in the back over here is the pool. All right, we have an events committee that is working hard for you. Calendar. This is, I'm going to not stop talking about this calendar until they sell out of them at the office. Okay. Because it's important that we are organized and participatory in our community. Alex Williams, I am pretty sure that he was with Cool and the Gang at one point back in the day, okay? He will be here with beach music at Pelican Park at 6 p.m. on April the 15th. Mark your calendars. Then on the 4th of July, we have a parade. We love our parades. The Christmas parade, the 4th of July parade, they are a lot of fun. The 4th of July parade is going to start at 9 a.m. and end at noon, we're going to try to get all that hubbub with the cars and golf carts and stuff out of the way before the heat of the day. Um, it is going to start at Red Cell Park and end at Pelican Park. You can decorate your golf carts, antique sports cars, and bicycles to win a prize. Then Alex Williams is going to be back with mixed music at 6 p.m. on September 15th, right around Labor Day. Um, all are welcome. They try to get food trucks at all of these events. So please, um, this is great. We also have a scavenger hunt actively being planned. And I've been trying to help with a 5K. See this sign right here? We did a 5K in Charlotte. I helped organize. And I have been so excited to work with Mary um, and Devine on a 5K race for Fairfield Harbor. So more information on that coming soon. But we are working hard and trying to get something out there for that. October 21st, we have the chili cook-off in Cornhole at Red Cell Park. From 1 to 3 will be chili, and 3 to 5 will be Cornhole. October 29th, just in time for Halloween, from 3 to 5, there will be a trunk or treat. Decorate your trunk or golf cart. Bring candy to hand out at the community center parking lot. And then on December the 3rd will be our Christmas parade and Santa. The parade is going to start and end at Red Cell Park at 3 p.m., Come kick off the holiday season. It'll be so much fun. Um, and then sometime around that time, we'll also likely have a flotilla, hopefully. And then this parking lot sale this is a little skewed, uh, but it is Saturday, April 1st from 8 to noon. Again, spaces are still available. So if you'd like a space to sell any crafts or, or things, please, $5. Um, and you can go ahead and Go to the office and submit your request and pay your $5 to get your space reserved. And that will be at 8.30. No, 8 a.m. to noon. The rain date will be April the 8th. Okay. And then we have chatting with Chip Hughes. It's coming up. I think I saw Morgan post about this. Uh, Wednesday, March 22nd from 3 to 5 at the Fairfield Harbor Community Center. Love Chip. Uh this is brought to us by the Fairfield Harbor Neighborhood Watch. And I think it was more, I'm pretty sure it was her. When I saw this, I was like, we have a neighborhood watch? Who? We have so many clubs in this neighborhood. But the Fairfield Harbor Neighborhood Watch is an all-volunteer group of Harbor residents dedicated to providing updated information to our community. We also have a direct line of communication with the Craven County Sheriff's Office. I would love, and I'm going to reach out. There's a, yes, this neighborhood watch 28560 at gmail.com is who I'm going to email. 
but to ask how are they sending out information? I don't see another Fairfield Harbor Neighborhood Watch community on Facebook. Um, or maybe they're pushing out email updates. I don't know. Anyway, we're, we'll find out. Um, but at this Wednesday, March 22nd, we're going to chat with Chip Hughes at the community center. We're going to have water, lemonade, and a few little snacks while supplies last. We're going to hear what's going on from the source, Sheriff Chip Hughes himself. And he always makes time to address our concerns. So if you have concerns, please bring them. Okay. And then the Fairfield Harbor, Harbor Lights players. I did not lie. This is our last uh, thing. They are doing wisecrackers. This is our theater group that meets in Fairfield Harbor. And there are evenings, March 17th at St. Patrick's Day, the 24th and 25th at 7 p.m. And then there are matinees, March 18th, 19th, and 26th. Doors open 30 minutes before the show. Tickets are $10 at the Activity Center lobby. And yeah, tickets were on sale the 27th through March 10th. Um, I'm not sure if they sell tickets after that, but who knows? If you have questions, you can contact 413-768-9778 for same night ticket availability for each night. So that answers that question. If you want to know if there are still tickets available for any night show, like, oh, our evening just opened up, our afternoon just opened up, call 413-768-9778 to see if there are tickets still available for same day. These are performed with special permission from the Art Age Publisher Senior Theater Resource Center. You can contact them at 1-800-858-4998 or www.seniortheater.com. And with that, we end this evening's newsletter. Again, covered a lot in the newsletter. We always do. We have a really thriving community here. Lots to do, lots going on. I think my big takeaways from this week are this calendar. And even if you don't use this calendar, we have so much going on in this neighborhood and I cannot encourage people to be involved enough. You know, we've been seeing so many things on the socials about it seems like there are kids walking around in the middle of the night, ringing doorbells or knocking on windows in people's backyards. I love the idea of this neighborhood watch. Um, I We've done so many things up until now. Uh, features about things that we do as a community to look out for one another and to protect one another. And we have to be involved and engaged in order to do that. We become stronger when we are united. So please get involved. Please know what's happening. Please know where to get information. If you have questions, please ask. Everyone is always here to answer those. And again, if you were involved in that house fire over the weekend, continued thoughts and prayers are with you. And if you need anything, please let us know because we would love nothing more than to get you back settled as fast as we possibly can. So with that, I hope you have a wonderful evening and I will talk to you very soon. Bye.